We are um, undertaking a Gwent electric vehicle charge point feasibility study looking at um, all the sites within Gwent for the five local authorities and the PSB partners on uh, sites suitable for charge points. Um, we are also leading a Gwent fleet review um, looking at our fleet mileage and also our grey fleet mileage to look at what vehicles we could switch to electric and also um, to introduce electric pool vehicles. Um, working across Grant to get a, a regional approach and we're also trying to link with the city deal work as well. It was my great pleasure today to speak at this fantastic event at the uh, Safari Gardens uh, about community's role within the electric vehicle network and um, we've suddenly come to a realisation that instead of complaining about the lack of infrastructure in Wales that to inject our enthusiasm and knowledge and experience into developing our own network, which will be cooperatively owned across Wales, joining with fellow community energy groups. And uh, we, we're going to start this company, and we've already thought of a name, it's called Tradani, or Tradani. And um, we're hopefully going to start installing charge points to a share offer that will have uh, social in investment tax relief as well, and off offer a return to our investors. So um, exciting times ahead and lots of work to do, but hopefully there'll be an electric vehicle charging network in Wales coming soon. The, uh, the electric vehicle work we're doing um, actually links to our wellbeing for generations, uh, wellbeing plan. Um, authority wide we've got uh, our wellbeing objectives, one of those is transport and decarbonisation. Um, it also links to our asset management enabler as part of our PSB wellbeing plan. Um, it's actually encouraging people to change their mindset, change their behaviour, actually think about the work they're doing, incorporate the five ways of working into that. So it's just slow, slow progress, but it's um, it is, is working. When we were considering our Green Fleet policy, we made specific reference to the Wellbeing and Future Generations Act, and that is actually encaptured within the policy as part of Swansea's commitment to that act.